Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Okay, Facebook is back. So anyway, so I'm just running through, I'm running through I mean, these instances surrounding, surrounding JJ. So he comes out and like we are saying that JJ uh, came out and he, 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 he told his story. Government on one hand is trying to pretend that JJ did not speak. JJ did not speak. But we have got reliable information, especially myself with my intelligence. And don't underrate my intelligence. Don't underrate my intelligence. My intelligence uh, is very much on point. I know they have been trying, especially in the police, they have been trying to move around people. They have even transferred people. I know about all that. I know about that. They, are, they, are, they, have, they have transferred some people. They are trying to, uh, to sideline certain people, thinking that they are the ones that give me information. My intelligence you can't crack my intelligence. You will not be able uh, to, dis to, to, dis to destabilize my intelligence because my intelligence are the people that are not happy with what is happening. And this, I want Baaka Inde Ichilema to know. Baaka Inde Ichilema, let the elections come. You will see how the police officers are going to vote you out because you are finding comfort in the police. I'm telling you, you will see how many police officers are going to vote you out. Because, like I always tell you, that those police officers, they are also human beings. They are also human beings. They have got families. They have got children. They have got aspirations. And you have messed up the police. You have not done anything for the police apart from abusing them. You abuse them in every way. You abuse them, you know, by looking after you from your uh, at community house where you keep them there at community house you don't even uh, give them uh, proper allowances you don't even give them food at community house you don't give them food at community house you don't give them proper allowances you let them line up every day you know along that route you think the police are happy they are not happy they are not happy. You think you don't look at just a few senior officers. Only a few senior officers, but the police, many junior police officers are not happy. Only a few are happy. And this is why I get to have information because you have so many people that are not happy. The, the intelligence of an opposition leader is only strong if the leadership is weak. And the leadership of Aka Inde Ichilema is very weak. And you think you, you, you are going to succeed by cracking down on the opposition. You are not going to succeed. Those police officers, they will continue doing what they are doing at the moment because, I mean, they have to save their jobs. But deep down in their hearts, they are not happy. And that is why we have strong information. You have been moving with a chair. I was the first one to, to bring out this information on social media. That Waka in the moves with a chair. You were moving with a chair. There was a car that was moving, transporting a chair back and forth from community house, bringing it to state house. Now you even started going with it in the provinces. A chair, Waka in the A chair, moving with a chair. What kind of insecurity is that? So I'm just telling you that don't think that you are so powerful. You are not. You are not. Among the presidents that we have had, you one of the weakest presidents. But that is a story for another day. Basically, what I'm telling you is that the information 
that you were trying to give through the minister, the acting minister of home affairs, Bal Balufuma. That information was not true. It was not true. You know, it was not true because JJ did give out how he was abducted. He gave the story. And when you took him, when he was taken there, you were hoping that you will manage to uh, come up with something uh, to arrest JJ in that line. The same way you did with me. For me, you arrested me for seditious intention, seditious practice. For JJ, you wanted to do the same thing. And we had this information even before. We had this information even before. But unfortunately, unfortunately, you couldn't because JJ was very clear on what happened to me. He was very clear. He was very clear and he even mentioned the people that abducted him, the people that were involved. And some fools were like, eh, eh, eh. so these people identified themselves. Those people, they identified themselves, they didn't care about their identity because they knew JJ was not coming back. They knew JJ was not coming back. They didn't uh, kidnap JJ to bring him back. They didn't. That is why they were careless to even show themselves. That's why they were even careless to show themselves. They didn't intend to release JJ. It is just that State House realized, State House realized to say, if we go ahead and kill this guy, we are going to be in problems. If we go ahead and kill this guy, we are going to be in problems. That is how they released him. And now we have Hamasaka and uh, uh, is it Hamasaka? Yes, we have Hamasaka coming out to say he's going to report to the police. He's going to report to the police and the people are going to be arrested. Now, this is one thing that I find very strange in our, in our uh, system. I don't know if I should call it our justice system. This is one thing that I find very, very difficult. In our justice system, we have people that are running to go and report to the police that have been defamed, criminally defamed, when they are suspects. Eh? We have suspects running to the police. Eh? A suspect, somebody who is supposed to be a suspect. Because when somebody is mentioned in a crime, when somebody is mentioned in a crime, what the police are supposed to do is to investigate that person. But we have these very people who are supposed to be investigated, they are the ones lining up to at the police and saying, have been defamed, criminally defamed. And the, the victim, instead of the police, you know, at least treating the, the matter, you know, objectively or fairly or impartially, you know, not to believe either. Because, okay, I'm making an accusation against such a person. I'm making an accusation such a person. And uh, this other person is saying, no, 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 what he's telling me, what he's, take, what he's saying is not true. On what basis are the police coming in to arrest this person who is complaining to say have been defamed? When they don't have the truth, they don't have the facts. There are a number of cases. I want you, those of you who are objective, who are reasonable, you will go back in the, in the, in the, in the, in the catalog of some of these public cases that we have had whereby somebody mentions that this person was involved in this crime and this person quickly rushes to the police and say no he has defamed me and the person that is accusing this person to say this person was involved is the one that is arrested and this other one because it belongs to the ruling party I mean, becomes now a victim. Becomes a victim. I have faced that. Where I'm supposed to be a victim, or where I'm speaking on behalf of the citizens, because they were victims, instead, the people that were involved, they are the ones that have gone to the police and complained to say, I've been defamed. And I want to tell you that some of us, when we talk about some of these issues, we don't just talk from without. We don't just talk from without. 
There is no way some of these people that have been coming, standing up and, you know, proclaiming to be innocent. Do you really think that I would just pick on one person to say this one is involved? Do you, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? And some of these people are not even close to me. I've got no personal relationship with them. They are far away. But because they were part of whatever was going on, I have come out and said this one was involved. And instead of the police going to investigate, going to investigate, instead they have arrested me. Why have you mentioned this one? Why not arrest this one? Why not even interview this one? Why? Because I am giving you that this person is a suspect in this crime. Why not take this person in and investigate this person? As long as in the is in the ruling part, and you see, this is where the biasness is. This is where the biasness is. As long as he's in the ruling party, whatever they say is gospel truth. Some of us who are in the opposition, whatever we say, it is a lie. We are being sensational. We are being we are, we are being uh, 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 malicious. We are we are, we are, we are, we are, we, are we are being ex espionage. Whatever big crimes that you can think of, we are given. But this side, no, it's okay. We have cadres who have got no reputation. For example, cadres without reputations. Because when you say, I've been defamed, it means that you have got a reputation and you are trying to protect your reputation. That's what it means. It means you are claiming to say, me, I am spotless. I am spotless. Therefore, I'm wishing somebody to Parichi. Where justice really exists. Where justice exists. Those of you who like rushing to the police because... You have lied about uh, somebody that said something and you believe it's not true and you, you rush to the police. I'm telling you, defamation is a very difficult case to prove. Defamation is a very difficult case to prove. Especially when you are a public figure. It, is, it even becomes almost next to impossible to defame to defend a public figure, it's almost next to impossible when you talk about, you know, justice system, especially from a criminal point of view. Because a criminal point of view, you are talking about a proof beyond reasonable doubt. Proof beyond reasonable doubt. Beyond reasonable doubt. So, Mune Wako very careful. I'm, I get surprised. Eh? Some of these people, you see, some I've even seen some of these leaders they get very excited. Convicts, we have, we have leaders who are convicts. How can a leader who is a convict, you were convicted in a, in a case, meaning your reputation, you could have been a vice president, you could have been a president, you could have been a president. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you wear. You could be a pastor. You could be a bishop. But if you have been convicted, on what grounds do you have to go and sue someone for defamation? Defamation simply means I've got a reputation and this person is trying to destroy my reputation. But the reputation of some of you, you could be pastors, you could be presidents, you could be vice presidents. You don't have it. You just don't have a reputation to defend. You don't have. Cadres, you are on camera insulting people. Cadres, you are on camera a threatening people i'm going to kill this one i'm going to sort out this one tomorrow you are appointed to say this one could be involved in the in the disappearance of jj or could be involved in the in this violence how can you come up and say no i've been defamed how you were busy on camera saying that i'm going to do this i'm going to do this you have got no reputation Baba. you have got no reputation you can't defend that and the police knows these things. Vayuyi know these things. Vayuyi, you know, he has done law. He understands these things. But because they are in the ruling party, it's okay. And I'll come and talk about tribalism in this, in, 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 about this as well. So, Imumweva Savaila, defamation, defamation. Defamation is not as easy. It's not as easy. For me, for example, the, the way I am, eh? 
the way I am, then you, you, you say something like, like you, you like to call me a rapist. Yeah? A number of you like to call me a rapist, a rapist. I cannot go to court. I cannot go to court and claim to say I've been defamed. I can't. On what basis? Why can't I go to court and claim that uh, I've, been, I've, been, I've been defamed? Number one, I'm a public person. As a public figure, and the public figure, you like it when to call yourself celebrities, you know, because you're on social media, you are known, and whatever, whatever. But when somebody said something, you want to claim defamation. You can't when you're a public figure. You can't. Especially a politician. There is no way you can defame a politician. There is no way you can defame a politician. Forget it. Especially criminally. You can talk about civil, um, uh, civil defamation. But on the criminal, uh, uh, criminal defamation, that's why before it was not there. We didn't have def a, a, a criminal defamation. Before it was not coming. It started coming during the time of Edgar Lungu, unfortunately. That's when we knew about criminal defamation. Before it was not there. Now, everyone is claiming criminal defamation. Cadres are going to court to report credible people. Credible people. <laughs> Credible people to say have been criminally <laughs> defamed. You can't. You can't. So anyway, nonetheless, I'm talking about the Clayson, eh? Because Clayson has um, uh, has threatened that he's going to police. Eh? He's going to report to the police that he has been criminally defamed. It is same thing. It is the same thing that uh, happened in in the Savoy case. Savoy, what Savoy said, in a country where there is no, where there is where there is justice, there is no way Savoy would would be would be standing in court up to today, defending herself. Savoy, who is a politician, talking about another politician, like Clayson. And Clayson really, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Clayson, <laughs> but Clayson, eh? but watchdog, eh? but watchdog, you, how many people did you defame yourself? How many people did you defame? How many uh, false stories did you bring out? You have no reputation, you have no reputation, but, but Clayson, you have no reputation, therefore you will stand no chance of going to court and claim defamation because you have no reputation. By the fact that you have been appointed by another president who, who is also has no reputation because that kind of HRM has no reputation. He's a president, but he has no reputation. He has no reputation. He's, he's a liar. Eh? He's a liar. He's, and come on, please, na papa. HRM has no reputation. He's a president, but he has no reputation. He has no reputation. Let him just continue ruling. Yeah, it is in Africa. It's okay. It is in Africa where we, we let go, we treat people, whatever, whatever, but Haka Inde Ichirima has no reputation. He has no reputation starting from privatization. Eh? Starting from privatization. A man who cannot justify his own wealth. Eh? He cannot justify his own wealth. A man who has been lying from day one up to today is lying. Even claiming that Haka Inde Ichirima has been defamed is a lie in itself. And therefore, it cannot stand in court. But you see, Baha Clayson can have that confidence to say, I'll go and report it to the police. I'll go and report it to the police. Because they are controlling the police. They are the police. They are the law. And that is where the dictatorship comes in. We are seeing cadres, cadres, cadres reporting, reporting cases, reporting cases. And these cases that they are reporting, for them, they are... I mean, they, they, they have merit. For us, they don't have merit. Anyway, I don't want to lose track, but I'm talking about JJ. So JJ has mentioned these three people. What the police are supposed to do is to actually, is to actually arrest these people. Imagine if JJ, let's imagine if JJ had come out and said, the person that arrested me was Chris Zumanizimba. Imagine, imagine if JJ had come out and said the person that arrested me was Chris Zumanizimba and Boma Ndusambo. Imagine eh, if he came out 
the people that arrested me is uh, Chris Rumanizimba, Boma Ndusambo, Katushina Nani Mwavika Pona Umbi. Let's say Mundubide. Eh? Let's say Mundubide. These are the people that arrested me. You think those guys would have been in their houses tonight? They wouldn't be in their houses. They would have been arrested immediately. They would have been, they would have been arrested immediately. But those that JJ mentioned, because they are in the ruling party, no. They can even dare to say, I'm going to report it to the, to, 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 to the police. And before you know it, mark my words, before you know it, JJ and other people might be arrested. Mark my words, mark my words. JJ might be arrested for telling us who abducted him. Because these very, these very criminals we will go and report to the police and instead JJ is the one that is going to be arrested. The same thing that happened with me. That's what exactly what happened with me. That is exactly what happened with me. I mentioned that the people that came, they identified themselves as soldiers. Tell your boss to stop talking about soldiers. That's what they said. Why would criminals talk about soldiers? Why would they be interested? And that's why we identified those people as soldiers. The vehicle that they were driving, I mean, it's a vehicle that is used by, by the military. The, the guns that they had, they were guns that used by the military. But instead, I am the one that was arrested. And I'm the one who is in court for people that came to my house with guns to kidnap me and assassinate me. And now I am the, I am the, I am the you know, the suspect. How can I be the suspect when they have not found out the truth? Because what they're supposed to do is to find out the truth. Like in the case of JJ, let them, before they arrest anyone, or before they arrest JJ, of having defamed whoever, whoever, let them give us, who are those people that kidnapped JJ? That is how it's supposed to work. And this applies in all other cases in the previous. Or... In those cases where we have mentioned certain people, before somebody claims to say, I'm innocent, and before the police goes in to, to arrest anyone, can they show us? In my case, whilst they are saying, no, tayari, whatever, whatever, even you are a kind of a praise singer, help the police to identify who are those people that came to my house. Because when you do that, and we found out that they are not soldiers. Then, I mean, it, 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 it is justified to, to, uh, to, to charge me of whatever those cases that you charge me with. Because you would have said, no, you are not, this is not true. These are the people that, that committed this crime. In the, in the case of JJ, in the case of JJ, can we, can we find out now? In the case of JJ, can we know? Who are those people that are, um, in the case of JJ, can we, can we know who are these people that abducted JJ? So a praise singer, if you want to be at least reasonable and patriotic, for once, just demand one thing. Just demand that the people that were involved in JJ's abduction, because whatever it is, if JJ abducted himself, he didn't act alone. There must have been some people. So can we find some people before we say JJ is lying? Can we have the people that were involved in this abduction? Can we have people testify to say JJ uh, kidnapped himself? Or can we have people to say Eddie uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 gave us uh, this money and uh, gave us this vehicle and so on and so forth? Can we have that? Failure to that. It is very wrong for us to start saying JJ is lying. If you are saying JJ is lying, this is my challenge to you tonight. If you are saying JJ is lying, can you give us the people that were involved? Can you give us your truth? You cannot be saying, no, it is not true. And yet you have not given us the truth. It is not JJ to prove, to prove this case. It is the police to prove this case. This is a, you, this is, a case, this is a, a case of public, high public interest. The state must investigate. Can they investigate? 
like uh, Jack Mimbo said, they are going to investigate and find the perpetrators of this heinous crime. Can we find them? If you can't find the, if you can't find the people that uh, were involved, other than them, what JJ is saying is the truth, and they are not being arrested because they are in, they are in the ruling party. Just like those who were threatening violence, they are also free because all those cadres would have been arrested. Would have been arrested. Which brings me to the issue, to the issue of tribalism. Today we have Munia Zulu, Stella Mabonga, eh, 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 what is this? Um, eh, Edith Nawakwi, Brebna Changala, and uh, one more person. One more person. Eh, one more person who is inside. Oh, eh, eh, Vadan Pule. We have these people bundled together and they are, you know, pushing them, you know, to say these people. They are feigning tribalism. They are feigning tribalism. And they want tribal war. Like you have, like, like, like they have put it. They want tribal war. And you have given them big charges. I mean, in Zambia, committing a capital a, a capital a, a crime is so easy. We are committing capital crime just by simply coming on social media. The way I'm talking on social media. Having a press conference, you have, and uh, you know, you, you have one of the worst, uh, the biggest uh, uh, charges, you know, espionage. Espionage is a serious offense. It's a serious offense. Sedition is a serious offense. But we are just picking these cases like like due in the early mornings. We are picking it like due in the early morning. What nonsense is this, Mwevant? What justice is this? These people have now been, they are being taken like Katwish. And uh, some people want to even support it. My dear brothers and sisters, see things for what they are. But Nawaku is not suffering because of what she said. Mm, uh, uh, who is this one? Munia Zulu is not suffering for what she, he said. Um, Maureen Mwabonga is not support, suffering for what she, because of what she said. But then for the same thing. But the same thing. It is because these people, these people are being perceived as the enemies of the state. Because they are speaking about the failures of Haka in the Ichire. I am here out in the, I'm out here. Not because I'm a criminal. No, not because I'm a criminal. I'm out here because I speak about the failures of Waka in the Ishirema. I've become an enemy. In Zambia, to be a politician, you have to be a praise singer. If you want to be a politician, the good politician is one who is a praise singer. Or if you talk, you know, uh, talk Yaku There are some politicians who speak Yaku Vendelela. You know, you talk, but he, you know, yeah, mwenso, mwenso. But all those politicians who come out, who is not have, who is not facing challenges, who is not in court, all those politicians who say things as they are, who is not in court, who is not in court. And some of you, you like to say, but hey, 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 what about all these others? Hey, they don't, whatever. Who is not in court? Only those cowards. Hey, I'm telling you. Only those cowards who, <laughs> you know, when they are talking, they don't want to say things as they are. But really, all the politicians that speak, you know, uh, on issues as they are, they are in court. All of them. All of them, all those politicians with voices, they are in court. They are in court. They are in court. But really, if you just speak things as they are, all of them are in court. All of them, you tell me, Nina, Nina, eh? And I want to say this because I've seen some of these more politicians. Anyway, I'm politician, you are fine. But you see, some of us, we are fighting for this country. We are fighting for Zambia. We are fighting for Zambia. And some of you, Murela Mbenshila. Mulela mbenshila, mule pita mumbali, mule pita mumbali, mule pita mumbali. You know? 
And when we will reach that point, number two Africa, Elon Musk is at the phone for our opposition. Oh, guys, I'm going to move him. Ah, ah. This is this this battle is on. Take off your gloves, join us, and start fighting. Don't say no. You tell you are outside. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Come on. How many times was I arrested myself? Among the opposition, I'm, I'm, I've been arrested more times. I could even go into a Guinness Book of Records for the number of times that I've been arrested. There is no politician that in that country who has been arrested more than I've been arrested. There is no one. There is no politician who has gone through what I've gone through in that country. There is no one. Tell me. Eh? I've been everywhere. Nikuisha, tell me, ngama sales ya mulu sakana alipuisha. Eh? I've even gone to whatever, whatever. So tell, you, you, you can't. What I've done to, to be here, I've just done this so that I can be alive. Because if I was in Zambia, I would have died. I would have died. So what I've just done is not that I'm scared. I'm not scared. The men of you talk about, no, you are a coward. You are not even 10% of what I am. You, are, you, you can't even go through what I've gone through. I've gone through a lot. I've gone through a lot. I mean, I was going to court every week, not once. Every week I was going to court on average three times. Three times, every week. Every week. If you start talking about you are being a coward, you are being a coward, you are outside, you are outside, you are outside. What do you what do you think you 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 can drink the cup that I've drunk so far? You you think I, you can drink the cup that I've drunk so far? Lawyers got tired of defending me. Lawyers got tired. And yes, somebody will say, "No, but Mali will yaku igombera. Eh, fi yaku ifwa ira." I mean, I'm a politician. I'm supposed to speak. I'm supposed to oppose the government. I'm supposed to oppose the government. I'm supposed to speak on issues. I'm supposed to speak for people. That is why I'm a politician. So even if you think that, no, being a politician, being a good politician in Zambia, you have to be praising Haka in the HLM. That is a very wrong perception. A, a, an opposition leader is not supposed to be dining and whining with the, with the ruling party and you call yourself an opposition. Eh? But Felix Mutati, because when I was Felix Mutati, never opposition. But Mirupi, never opposition. Eh? Is that the kind of opposition? Those are the politicians you like, eh? No. I refuse to be that. And I've refused to be that even when Edgar Lungu was in power. Even when Edgar Lungu was in power. I refused. If you are an opposition, you're supposed to speak for people. And I've been arrested more times than any politician in Zambia now. I can challenge you. I have gone through more than many of you have been beaten, have been what? I mean, come on, please. Talk, <laughs> talk about something else. So, for you to be a good politician in Zambia, you, have to, you don't have to speak. But if you speak, everybody is involved. Everybody is having cases. Now, Waka Inde Ichirema has seen that he's completely failing. He's completely failing. And even the people that had confidence in him, they are turning against him. Brebna Changala is inside, not because of what he said. Brebna Changala was one of those people. If you remember, Brebna Changala was close to Haka in the Ichire. These were part of the, uh, 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 the Osida. They were part of the Osida. They are the people that ushered in Haka in the officially. That's why the Brebna Changala is inside. Edith Nawakwi, it is a long, bitter relationship, political relationship that has been there from the time that Haka in the went into privatization because Edith Nawakwi is the one who was finance minister. Because some of you don't know this thing. Edith Nawaku was the minister, was the finance minister when Haka Inde Ichirema was given the job to privatize uh, our companies. And Edith Nawakui knew that this Haka Inde Ichirema has taken advantage of Zambians. 
It is from there that Edith Nawakwi knew that this man is a crook. He knew that Haka Indeichema is a crook. And from there on, Edith Nawakwi has never endorsed Haka Indeichem because she knows Haka Indeichem. And now Haka Indeichem is president. He's fixing Edith Nawakwi for you know for 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 for, for being a whistleblower. Edith Nawaku is a whistleblower of the of the terrible things that Bahaka in the HDM has done. Edith Nawaku is the whistleblower on the issue of Feluna. Some of you, you talk about, hey, you said you have got evidence, Munifi Puba. Munifi Puba. You have got evidence. Which evidence? Who can talk about evidence today? Haka in the HDM is in State House. Haka in the, who can talk about evidence? Haka in the HDM is in State House. But really, haven't you seen how things have how things have unfolded? But Prince Singer, that's when you hear that Muliba Zombie. The issue of Feluna, Edith Nawaku is the one that brought it up. The issue that was uh, where uh, Haka Indechilema was summoned and uh, you know people were killed, that was brought out by uh, Edith Nawaku. And Haka Indechilema knew. Haka Indechilema knew that what Nawaku was saying was truth. Was, was honest, was the truth. That's how he took a gang of people. He took more than 50 buses. More than 50 buses. And at the end of the day, people, two people died. But if people have you are the one who caused the, you are the one who caused this one to die. You are the one who caused. I was not even part of that case. I was not even part of that case. I was not even part of that case. That case was revealed by Edith Nawakwe. And rightly so. Rightly so, because the issue of Feruna is real. It's real. And you can see how things have unfolded. When, you know, Haka in HLM was called, he went with 50 buses. Two people died. Who did, who caused that? It is Haka in HLM by bringing confusion on a day that was called by the police. Because even Edgar Lungu, if we were to bring 50 buses, remember what happened there at, at deck. You remember if Edgar Lungu went with 50 buses, what would happen? Eventually, people would have died. Sometimes, they were frustrated now Edgar Lungu. He doesn't bring people and whatever. But really, people are saved because really, if we are going to bring so many people, at the end of the day, people would die. And this is what I was reflecting last Sunday to say, you know, that man, you know, has his own grace. Has his own grace. In his weakness, there is grace. Because really, if Edgar Lungu was acting the way Haka Inde HLM was acting, by now people would have died. People would have died by now. So, on Cop Corpus Christ, because Corpus Christ, as a Catholic, we, we, you know, we, 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 we celebrate the, the body of Christ, the, 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 the blood and body of Christ. And that symbolizes life. And my reflection was, I thank God that so far, because of the way Edgar Lungu has been conducting himself, people have not died. Because if Edgar Lungu was conducting himself the way Haka in HLM was conducting himself, by now people would have died. So I thanked God for that. And I prayed that no people should shed blood as a result of what is going on. So Haka in HLM brought confusion. Wherever Haka in HLM was, he was bringing confusion. But high court, when that guy was shot, you saw that video which was going around. Recently, there's a video which was showing around. I think I'll find it and share it again. Police were being stoned. Police were, were attacked by cadres. And that is how that cadre was, was, was shot. Haka in the HLM was bringing confusion wherever he was. And that is how people were ending up losing lives. So those people lost life because of Haka in the HLM. And you want to be pointing fingers at others. You want to be pointing fingers at dad. Eh? No. I was not part of that. But look at how the Feluna case uh, 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 un, 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 unfolded. Those people disappeared. Those people disappeared. The Felunas disappeared until they only resurfaced after the elections. And after the elections, of course, Haka in the HLM is president. Even if you have evidence, even if Naoki has evidence, where would, you, where would you take that evidence? Where would you take that evidence? If you talk about it, the only thing that will happen is what has happened to Nawakwe. What has happened?
has happened to Nawaku is not because of whatever she said. It is because Haka Inde Ichinema wants to silence Edith Nawaku. She, he knows that Edith Nawaku knows a lot about him. He knows. And you, praise singers, you don't want to believe what is before you. You don't want to believe that Haka Inde Ichinema got rich as a result of privatization. You don't want to believe that your Haka in the HLMA used to bring confusion wherever he went. And as a result, people are being shot. Of course, that is not right. Of course, that is not right. But nonetheless, the person that was bringing confusion, if Haka in the HLMA cared for the lives of the people that he talks about, for the people that he talks about, I don't want to mention their names, but those people that he talks about, if he cared, if he cared, he wouldn't have caused the confusion, which brought you know in the issue of uh, you know people losing lives and somehow this is why sometimes they thought to say maybe they were even doing it maybe they were even doing it maybe they were even killing people as because i mean they are the ones who have been who have collected political mileage it's like they were staging this confusion and at the end of the day eliminate people so that they can use it in their political campaigns because they were using it when they were in opposition. They are using it even now. When they are in government, they are using it. But they are the ones who are causing confusion. Mark count all of them. Those that Haka Inde Ichinema talks about. Talk about those, those ones. Today, he's, 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 he's uh, talking about uh, stopping Amaradis. But you remember when that girl was shot. downtown When that girl was shot. When that girl was shot, remember what happened. UPND cutters, they moved from the secretariat, moved into town and whatever, whatever, defying the police orders. He's talking about, no, you don't defy whatever. But they, they were doing that. They were not respecting the police orders. And this is why people were dying. And from my point of view, they could have been doing this. Even the issue at Unza, where that girl died. UPND, you know, uh, 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 brought out that. And the young man that he arranged that, I don't think he has even been rewarded. Yeah? That young man, there is that young man, I hope he has been rewarded. They organized that, that trial. At the end of the day, a young girl died. So, really, I, I think they have collected political mileage. And up to now, they still talk about it. They are still, you know, they are still uh, 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 benefiting from the death of those people. It's UPND who has been benefiting from all those people that died. It's not UP, it's not PF. It's not PF. PF, how? How? Whatever case you can talk about, some of these cases I don't even want to talk about them because, you know, I, but if you look at most of these cases that you accuse the PF on, it is the UPND that collected the benefits. How can you, you PF, you know, jeopardize themselves? How can they? They can jeopardize themselves. But anyway, the issue that I'm trying to talk about is the, these people that are arrested. And now they are, they are arrested in the guise of, no, they are feigning tribalism. It is not about tribalism. It is not about tribalism. Let's see things for what they are. Some of these people have been leaders way before Baaka in the came into power. Why didn't they feign tribalism? Yes, they uttered tribal, tribal uh, sentiments, which is unfortunate. I want to say that. I want to put it on record that it is unfortunate that they uttered, some of them uttered tribal sentiments. But if this is a reaction. Why are you arresting those who are reacting? Because others are actually practicing tribalism. Others are discriminating other people on tribal lines. Why are you leaving out Haka Inde Ichirema? On issue of tribalism, when Haka Inde Ichirema is not just to, is not talking about it, but is practicing it. This government of Haka Inde Ichirema has been practicing tribalism, has been ostracizing people of other regions, have been sidelining people of other regions, have been victimizing people of other regions. They are practicing it. They are practicing it. And this is precipitating. 
these people to react, to say, look, you cannot continue. You cannot continue abusing us. You cannot continue victimizing us on tribal lines. We are more than you. They are reacting. They are reacting. That look, Muni Azuri is saying the majority cannot rule. Basically, what basically this guy is talking about is that you cannot, you can, you can rule, but don't uh, victimize the majority. You can't. Because Wafurisha, that is what Mawonga is talking about. That is what Mawonga is talking about. To a foolish child, we are the majority, you cannot overrun us. So, just rule. They are not saying Akai Nechirima cannot rule. They voted for him, hello? Akai Nechirima was voted, you know, by people from other regions. So, we are not saying that he cannot rule. We are not saying we should rule on tribal lines. And if anything, if you want to talk about ruling on tribal lines, it's only Akai Nechirima who is a suspect. Because it's only Haka in the HRM who gets uh, who get almost hundred percent in the region where he comes from. No any other leader gets you know the kind of votes that Haka in the HRM gets in his in his region. Haka in the HRM gets higher. So if you're talking about practicing tribalism, it's Haka in the HRM. There is no leader that gets the votes. Even Edgar Lungu, where he comes from, he doesn't get uh, the votes that he gets. So what are you talking about? Why do you want to make these people look so bad? Eh? Like they, they are people that are really, you know, they are tribal, tribalists, tri tribal mongers. No. No. No one wants war based on tribe. No. Mawonga is not saying, let's see. No, Mawonga is reacting. She is reacting. And where justice really exists, there is no way Haka in the HDMI can go scot free with tribalism. There is no way. There is no way any court can convict anyone reacting to this tribalism, which is currently being practiced by this government. Because this government is by far the worst tribalist that we have had. Look at the, the, the parastatos. Look at the parastatos. Look at most of the institutions, most of the positions have been taken by people from one side. The key positions in government have been taken by people from one side. And this is evident for anyone to see. So you, there is no way you are going to uh, 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 put uh, you know, a heavy load on Mawonga, a heavy load on Munia Zuru to say these are the tribalists. There is no way. It can't stand. It can't stand. You are practicing it. It is there in your elections. It is there in your appointments. It is there in your operation, even in business. Even in business. The people that, as long as somebody is coming from this side, it is, is PF, and you will not be given business. You will not be given payment. So by far, you cannot. Even reporting, even reporting, I am in other cases, why is it that only people from one region are the ones who are reporting hate speech? Why? Why all of a sudden the people that are reporting hate speech, hate speech, but one region? One region, only one region, the hate speech, hate speech, only one region. Mushekwena, you can't see that really this is a calculated way of silencing the opposition. This is Haka in the HM trying to, you know, silence the opposition. That's all. Nothing else. It is about silencing the opposition. And they are giving them big charges. They are not even taking them to court to threaten those who want to talk. That's what they are doing. Some politicians you have seen, they have even gone into holes. Come out. If you are opposition, come out. Come out and start talking. Don't say, no, 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 you, you are talking, you are outside. I am going through a lot. I am going through a lot. It takes courage for me to be out here. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm going through. I am going through a lot being out here. I'm going through a lot coming here, talking to you at this point in time. I'm supposed to be sleeping. It, it takes a lot. So don't talk like it's easy. It's a walk in the park for me to be here. No, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. 
And I want to tell those of you, you know, who are making my life, because there are certain people who are making my life even worse. You are making my life even worse. Mui chindike, mui chindike. Because this kind of frustration that you are trying to put on me, I mean, it's just not healthy. Eh? It's not healthy, you know. I mean, in day, in a day, karakunon dera lo lupundo. I'm not with my family and whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't know. I'm only making up a mass stress. I'm not going to look. I'm only making up a mass stress. I'm not going to look. I'm only. Mui chindik, mui chindik. And I'm going to show you know them. You know yourselves. You know yourselves. I mean, I, I, I mean, you don't want me to be frustrated because at the end of the day, I mean. At the end of the day, Mukadabuavat na isa muzambi, it's okay in Jikaden. But you would have lost. You would have lost. Anyway. So, what I'm saying is that come out. Come out and start talking. Don't go with this narrative of a good politician. And don't come. No, I'm an opposition. I'm opposition. No. Like, can you come out? I'm very glad that I'm seeing some other politicians coming together. You know, we are uniting. Sean Tembo, my brother, you are doing very well. You are doing very well, my brother. Please, let's let's come together. Let's work together. Let's work together. Let's put whatever aside. Let's remove the dictator. Because no matter how good you are as a politician, no matter what, what big visions you have for Zambia, if you have a dictator in State House, those visions will, not, will go nowhere. Then your vision will not go anywhere. So let's just work together. Let's remove this dictator and let's let's work together. You know, let's see how we can resolve this. Let's come together and resolve Zambia. First of all, let's come together. As opposition, let's come together, resolve Zambia, resolve the issues of the constitution. I'm really emphasizing on the issue of the constitution. Let's resolve the constitution. Let's put back Zambia on the tracks of democracy because Zambia at the moment is not on the track of democracy we are in a dictatorship and as long as as long as we have Haka in the Ichirema as president forget it you will not go anywhere you will not do anything so for that reason I'm calling upon all opposition political party leaders that please let's work together Edgar Lungu it's not that I like Edgar Lungu He's not my father. He's not whatever. No. He's the best so far. Edgar Lungu is already sold. He's already sold. But let me conclude with that one when I talk about the South African elections. Let me go. So basically on this tribal issue, it, there is so much injustice. There is so much injustice. And for those who are reasonable, you can see it. You can see by the appointments. You can see the way Haka in the H&M conducts himself the way Akai Ndechinem appoints people, you can clearly see, you can clearly see who is in charge. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.